been uh, really fascinated about Magnus Carlsen for a long time. You know, I, I'm not a chess player myself. I actually think chess is a bit boring to watch because I don't understand that much. Uh, but I'm deeply fascinated about uh, the kind of the psychology of the chess game. Uh, you know, chess is uh, regarded as the touchstone of intellect, the ultimate battle of the minds. And uh, to kind of feel Magnus and tell the story as a, a present tense coming of age story uh, about this child prodigy growing up and becoming the highest rated chess player of all time against all odds. I think that was just uh, an amazing project to, to, to be a part of and direct. I uh, wanted to make a film about Magnus Carlsen because, you know, uh, he learned chess uh, in a completely different way than the, uh, the other greatest chess players in history. Magnus learned chess through, uh, uh, through playfulness and curiosity all voluntarily. And, uh, you know, the, especially the, tr the Russian chess tradition uh, is a lot of discipline, strict teachers, a lot of homework. And Magnus, the way he learned chess was just to pick up a, a, a random chess book, open it on a random page and, and start reading. And actually, when Magnus was 13 years old, chess experts told his family that you need to give this boy more discipline. And uh, they refused. They wanted Magnus to be playful, uh, intuitive and creative. Uh, I chose to tell this story because it was a kind of an underdog story of this boy from Norway, where we don't have a chess tradition, uh, learned chess in a completely different way than uh, the other greatest chess players. And I thought that uh, that was really inspiring to tell a story about the family values uh, about uh, creativity and intuition. Uh, it was intended to, to tell us a story about the, the, the family and uh, how Magnus uh, grows up, you know. Yeah. We had 500 hours of footage. Uh, uh, one of the producers started filming Magnus back in 2004. He covered his childhood and I started working in the early 2013 with this project. So. It was absolutely intended, I, and, and I think that it's so important for uh, Magnus to, to have his family around him. Chess is a lot about uh, uh, managing to, to relax in the crucial moments, crucial uh, chess games. And the way Magnus uh, uh, can relax and, and manages to relax is to, to stay with his family on these uh, free days or uh, after a chess game to unwind and get the energy back uh, and get his mind off of the, the, the pressure. So uh, I really think that uh, his family is, uh, is a, a crucial part of uh, kind of Magnus becoming the best chess player in the world. I think that the Magnus is uh, creative and intuitive person in, in many aspects uh, of his life. But as, of course, especially when it comes to chess, you know, chess is, uh, is both art and science and uh, mathematics. And there's so many uh, chess possibilities, you know, there are more chess possibilities than there are atoms in the universe. So the chess game is perfect for using your intuition to find the, the best po possible path uh, on a chess board. I absolutely think that uh, he got more confidence when he, he, he became the world chess champion uh, for the first time, you know. Magnus had a goal when he was uh, 13 and that was to become the world chess champion. And uh, but, but I think that one of the main reasons for him getting that kind of confidence it not only had, has to do with, with, uh, with, with chess, it also had to do with you know, him growing up and uh, being in love with friends and, uh, and and knowing that people loved him and liked him for for the person and not only for, uh, as the, the, the chess player and celebrity.